10 Most Dangerous Weapons You Can Legally Own in the U.S. Whether it's for self-protection or you just want a piece of history that looks cool on your wall, here are the 10 most dangerous weapons you can legally own in the U.S. Number 10. Chain Whips. Like something out of a sci-fi action movie, chain whips look dangerous and impractical, but they are actually legal in every state besides California, Maryland, and New York. Make sure you aren't hit with one of these. With their serrated edge, they can create huge gashes and can slice through a watermelon with ease. Seriously, these are probably more dangerous to people who are learning to use one than to anyone else. 9. Umbrella Sword Banned in California, Massachusetts, and New York, umbrella swords can function as a normal umbrella when it's rainy and a sword when you need to defend yourself. The fact that they can look like a normal umbrella is what makes these so dangerous. Some come with a cane style handle, meaning you could use it as a cane as well. Others use a sword handle if you want to be less subtle. The sword is usually a thin rapier that unsheaths from the umbrella bit. 8. Flamethrower. If you don't live in California or Maryland, you can legally own your very own flamethrower. Once used in trench warfare during World War I and World War II, these high-power incendiary devices are now used by civilians to melt snowy driveways, get rid of unwanted foliage, and start fires. They aren't practical in today's battlefield due to their heavy weight, short range, and low fuel capacity. Maybe you've seen this Iron Man-inspired flamethrower glove. Please don't try this at home. 7. Grenade Launcher you can own your very own grenade launcher in the United States, but finding actual grenades to launch will prove difficult as they are illegal. Technically, a grenade launcher is classified as a destructive device and requires a more extensive background check and license to own, but if you want to put in the time and money, then you can legally own one. 6. The M134 General Electric Minigun the M134 General Electric Minigun was made before 1986, meaning under the National Firearms Act it's legal for a civilian possessing a Class II permit to own. It can fire up to 166 rounds per second, and while it looks badass, this weapon is expensive and hard to find. Not to mention paying for all the ammo to really fire this thing off will set you back a few thousand dollars per minute. Odds are, the closest you'll get to firing one of these is in a video game. 5. Punt Gun The punt gun is basically a huge shotgun that was widely used in the 19th and early 20th centuries to hunt large numbers of waterfowl for commercial harvesting operations. While these weapons were often custom made and thus vary widely in their size, their bore diameters often exceeded 2 inches 51 millimeters and they fired over a pound of shot at a time. The strange offspring of a cannon and a shotgun, punt guns were often mounted to a boat as the recoil would probably kill someone who tried to fire it unmounted. A single shot from a punt gun could kill over 50 birds. While a punt gun is rare to find, they are more or less legal depending on how old they are. 4. Sniper Rifle while not super popular in the home, these weapons seem to be very popular in video games like Call of Duty and Destiny. The fact that this gun can kill over long distances is what makes it dangerous. A .50 calorie Barrett sniper rifle can hit a target from about a mile away. You won't find these available in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, Connecticut or California. 3. A Tank Yeah. This guy totally bought a tank and is getting grief from the HOA because he parks it right outside his house. If you've got the money to throw down on something like this, then more power to you. Luckily, you probably won't see one merging into your lane during the morning commute. While you can't buy an armed tank, even without its weapons it can still do some intense damage. Two. Pistols. Pistols are the most widely available gun and are responsible for the most amount of gun-related deaths each year. 
they are easily concealed and widely available in every state. While the firepower these things pack may not be as big as the previous weapons, pistols are most dangerous in the hands of those who haven't received proper training. 1. Semi-Automatic Rifles This is the type of gun that created the worst mass shooting in US history. You've no doubt heard of the Las Vegas shooting by now, which involved semi-automatic weapon that was modified with a bump stock to become essentially an automatic weapon. The ability to shoot massive amounts of bullets in a short time, as well as the availability of these weapons, makes this the most dangerous legal weapon on our list. What do you think? Is there an even more dangerous legal weapon out there that's not on our list? Let us know in the comments below. For more videos, like, share, subscribe, thank you.